My name is Bill Torrens. I'm the director of sales for Auto Motors. And uh, we are presenting here at the PAC Expo show a, uh, a new type of automated guided vehicle. We call it an SDV. It's a self-driving vehicle. And there's a fundamental difference in the technology that really has a lot of benefit to manufacturers and uh, managers of distribution centers. So this particular technology doesn't actually follow any fixed path. It doesn't use tape on the floor, reflective targets or barcodes that are embedded. It has a different methodology of localization called natural features localization. So natural features localization means that through the laser in the front and the rear of the vehicle, we take it sight unseen into a facility and take it for a walk around. And while we walk it around, it performs a dimensional, dimensionally accurate measurement of everything it sees, the walls, the columns, the machines, and constructs a map that it then embeds in its head. And then from that map, what it is able to do in real time through the laser is to triangulate its position based upon a comparison between what it sees in real time and what it knows in the map. Now, we call that natural features localization because that's what human beings do. So the second fundamental capability of the vehicle, which is different than AGVs, is that it has an ability to be able to dynamically path plan. So if a vehicle knows where it is in the building at all times, then what it can do is move from any random origin to random destination, as well as if you're standing in front of it, it can deviate around you if you're presenting uh, it yourself as an obstacle. So the vehicle can move around you in real time, or a pallet that got misplaced, or a fork truck, or a tug vehicle within that facility. So what you now have is, for lack of a better term, a fleet of taxi cabs within the environment that can move things in very complicated random origin to random destination transport missions, which is, in and of itself, the value proposition of why most manufacturers have human-based material transport. Flexibility, adaptability, universality, and modularity. So these vehicles have, for the first time, the ability to take the predictability and machine efficiency of AGV technology and do tasks that have only been able to be performed by human beings up to now.